Hello folks, I'm Dakovach, and today we are going to be taking our intermediate vehicle and turning it into an advanced one. If you've already followed the previous two build guides, you'd already have a vehicle. You may not have saved it. In that case, I do have a version on the Steam Workshop. It is called Tutorial Base ADV, ADV for advanced. Just download that and you'll be able to follow it along with this video. We're going to be starting off by removing quite a lot of stuff on this vehicle, adding some finery, changing the tires, and adding in some advanced motion. Now, as a warning, you will need to be careful with this. The restrictive functions of the game won't allow for what we make to not hit the build itself, which will cause some clipping issues. So you do have to be a bit careful. But it should show you what's possible if you put your mind to it. Without further ado, let's begin. We're going to start by removing a load of things. We're going to go for the plow, the wheels. Oh, we don't have the mirror mode on. We should probably put that on. So the wheel suspension. Cannons. As well. And the block they're attached to. First thing we're going to do in our now very, very bare vehicle is add some treads. We're going to go for the large treads. Be very careful where you place these. These are on the place just in front of the cab on the side. We're then going to remove these pieces here, which leaves us unconnected. But we will add in another six way. And we make sure that we're still connected to the to the rear section. Then gonna place another one of the six ways there. And we're gonna add a beam. Now, the thing about beams, like I said XL means extendable, not extra large. We're gonna place them. If you press E, it will extend. This this button here as well. Uh, and that's now connected. We're also gonna place beams at the front and rear of this section here and then we're going to place some three-way t-splits on these places as well next we have some more splits but this time three-way y splits i'm going to place them and press r once on each of them so that they end up at that angle so this is what we're looking for here Now we're going to add to the wheels for this section. We're actually going to use the medium treads. I'm just going to place it right here. Our next option is to put in some ropes. We're going to put one of those on the rearmost. And then you'll see wherever you've got a point, you can actually then attach a wire to. We're going to put it onto the front there. So now we have a nice little side rope guide. This is mostly for finery doesn't have a, a major function but that's how ropes work next we're going to place some six ways we're going to place one in the middle here and then two on the sides and this is going to be support for our cannons okay so now it's the fun part we're going to be putting the cannons on this machine we're going to start by getting ourselves a swivel 90 placing that on the sides here we want a different connection so we're going to press c to change that and have this pointing forwards next we need a sliding rail so that we have this able to go. Another swivel 90 needs to be put on here and we want the connector to be at the top. So I'm going to rotate it three times. Get ourselves a small six-way mini. And then we're going to go to our activate section and get the cannon. Doesn't that look mean? Now, there are some things that we need to check first and we're going to go through them right now. Firstly, we're going to turn off mirror mode and we're going to check these things individually. We have different pivot, uh, swivels and sliding rails. So this needs to be rotating downwards. The other side will need to be rotating downwards the same. That's fine. Then we have sliding rails. These need to both be pointing upwards. So we'll reverse this. And that's also on up. So that's good. And finally, these other swivel 19 needs to be rotating so that it is pointing up from the bottom, and that is correct on this side. 
this wrong on this side. Oh, I rotated. I should reverse, which is D, not R. The last thing we need to do is to change all of these on their axis by pressing A to open up the advanced button. Just to move them to T and R. This will mean that everything is working in concert. We'll do the same for the other side. If you had this mirrored, this would change all of them at the same time. So let's see how we go. Our vehicle, we know it's going to drive well. As you see, the treads don't need suspension as much. And as we're not getting too close, the, the treads are absolutely fine. Let's try out the cannons. We know they fire. If we use TNR, we now have some pretty cool motion, which means that uh, we'll be able to change our aim. Like I say, do not move these too far. If you do, you'll get clipping issues like so. Well, this has been your introduction to advanced motion in Instruments of Destruction. More tutorials will come soon. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all soon.